Dear Daisy, I prayed countless times over the years that God would make me your husband. Today, those prayers come true. Hey, dear Brent, I have so eagerly waited for this day to come and I'm overjoyed that it's finally here. Brant and Daisy have thought so intentionally about today and how special that it truly is. I'm so thankful that God has placed you in my life and even more thankful that I get to live it with you. <laughs> I've been madly in love with you since we began our journey together those years ago. They have made all the decisions surrounding today as a team and chosen to honor God as well as each other at every turn. Today we will watch as God joins them together in marriage. We will see God continue to institute Himself as the foundation of their relationship, but today in a new and deeper way. I promise I will always take care of you and loyally be by your side. I promise to always do my best to love you in a way that is selfless, humble, and kind. With this ring, I vow in faith, honesty, and love that I will always be your husband in sickness and in sorrows. I vow to always take care of you and to tackle any challenge life throws at us. I vow to always strive for God's plans for us till and after death do us part. Lastly, I promise to always try and point you to the cross. All of this I promise and I do. Sincerely, your loving husband, Brant. I love you, I do, and I always will. For the last time, Daisy Byers. <laughs> Love is patient and kind. Love does not envy or boast. It does not rejoice at wrongdoing, but rejoices with the truth. Love bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, and endures all things. Love never ends. We all consider it an honor to be here today. As Brant, Daisy, and myself have discussed, marriage is not ours to define. We know that God meant it to be a picture for the world around us, to best understand the love and faithfulness that God shows His people. Brent and Daisy, I am excited to watch as God walks with you in this life, and specifically in this relationship with each other. First, I can joyfully affirm that you have both consistently displayed the fruit of those who have entrusted their souls to their Creator. The way you love each other and the world around you gives me absolute confidence that the love of the Father is in you. Brant and Daisy, remember that your marriage will serve as your first and most evident testimony to who God is. Your love for each other in Christ will speak peace, 
heal wounds, and multiply love in all places that your life will take you. Brant, in taking Daisy, whom you hold by the hand, to be your lawfully wedded wife, you must lead and provide for her in all things, at all times, in all ways, being a true and faithful husband. Do you make that promise to the Lord and to Daisy? I do. Daisy, in taking Brant as your husband, you are entering into a covenant. Jesus calls you to the beloved helpmate of this man, supporting him as he leads. Do you make that promise to look to the Lord and to Brant? I if do. so, say I do. I do. You're good. <laughs> I can now pronounce you husband and wife, and Brant, you may kiss your bride. It is my pleasure and my honor to present to you Mr. and Mrs. Brant Black.